Hi guys, let me show you a couple of tips that you can do if your downloads on Steam go to zero. Now I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can fix this problem. So try them and let me know in the comments which one of them works for you. The first one that we're going to try is to disable your internet adapter settings. For that, we want to enter the network settings. Right click into the start button and go into network connections. Once you are in here, you want to click on the button where you see advanced network settings and more network adapter options. Where you are going to see right here are your different connections that you have in your PC, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, or even Bluetooth. And what you want to do is right click into it, click into disable. And after it's disabled, you want to right click once more and click into enable. Now try to make your downloads once more. If it didn't help, let's go into the step number two. Open your Steam Launcher and go into the top left corner where you see Steam. Click on it and from here open the settings menu. Once you are here, you want to go where you see downloads and you want to make sure that the download region that you have right here is the one that is closest for where you live. Another thing that you don't have nothing here into the download restrictions. For example, the limit bandwidth 2 because this one could cause that problem. And the last thing right here is to clear your download cache. Depending on the size of your cache, this could take a long time. Once everything is done, you can maybe restart your PC and try it once more to make your download on Steam. Another option is to go into the search bar and type run. You are going to see the run app right here. Click on it. And once this is open, you want to type INETCPL. Dot CPL. And you want to click into OK. Now the internet properties are going to get open. On the top, you're going to see the connections tab. Click on it. And here or the need, you want to open the LAN settings. From here, you can uncheck the smart automatically detect settings and then click into OK and OK once more. Another option is to change your DNS server. For that, once more, right click into the start button, open your network connections, and again, Go into the advanced network settings and into more network adapter options. In here where you see your Wi-Fi or Ethernet, depending on the one that you use, you want to right click into it and click into properties. When this new window opens up, you want to go into the Internet Protocol version 4. Click once more into properties. And here you want to uncheck the mark where you see obtain DNS server address automatically. And you want to check use the following DNS server address. In the first one, the preferred, you want to type one in every box, one, 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 one. And into the second one, you want to type eight, 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 and eight. Now you want to click into OK, and you can close this window. The other thing that you can do is not 100% recommended, but is to disable your firewall in your PC and also on your router. Now, this is one last option I will not really recommend it because then some people could have access from the internet into your system, and that is no bueno. If you're still having problems, let me know in the comments down below. I will try to help you out. Thanks for watching, my friends. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to drop a like and a subscriber is more than welcome. See you guys on the next time. Bye bye.